Clip 2 Ancestor Figure As you make your way further into the Ancestors and Rituals Gallery, you will spot a carved wooden figure of a seated man. This dark brown sculpture is almost 60 centimeters tall. This is an ancestor figure most likely from northern Nias Island. It is called Siraha Salawa in the languages of the Nias peoples. This sculpture was made back in the 19th century. Nias lies off the northwestern coast of Sumatra, almost directly due west of us here in Singapore. The sculpture probably represents an important village founder or the most ancient ancestor of a noble family. Like all Siraha Salawa figures, this one sits unclothed on a small stool, resting his elbows on his knees. He holds a cup or small bowl in his hands. Offerings such as betel nuts, which have symbolic and ritual significance in many Southeast Asian communities, might have been placed in the bowl during important ceremonies. His beard is trimmed into a neat rectangle, and his lips are pursed with his mouth slightly open and his expression serene. A thin strip of wood below his nose represents a moustache. Befitting his important social status, the Saraha Salawa figure is wearing elaborate adornments that would only be worn by male nobility. These include a snug-fitting necklace made in one piece. Although carved in wood here, it looks like some of the beaten metal necklaces on display in our jewelry gallery. He is also wearing a single earring hanging from a hole in the right earlobe which is stretched from the weight, allowing the earring to touch his shoulder. These male figures usually wear only one earring, together with a single bracelet on the right arm. Female ancestors are shown wearing earrings in both ears and bracelets on both the left and right arms. In addition to the jewelry, a magnificent headdress sits atop his head. It is nearly a third the size of the figure himself. This headdress has a circular base lined with round discs, each with a smooth cone protruding from its center. A large triangular element with notched edges, six on each side, projects forward at a 45 degree angle. It resembles the prow of a ship. Faded red ribbons of loosely woven cloth are wound and knotted haphazardly around the notches. The ends hang loose, a few reach the base of the crown. This headdress is modeled on real ones worn by leaders of Nias communities. Ancestors played a central role in the art-making and religion of Nias Island. Craftsmen created a variety of ancestor images which housed the spirits of ancestors and allowed for communication between the human and supernatural worlds. Although a typical Nias village house might have many smaller ancestor figures tied to its walls, Siraha Salawa were seen only in the households of the most wealthy in the community. The family would make offerings to it to secure protection for the home. The cloth ribbons on this one may have been added as offerings or as additional adornments. These ancestor figures would be set on a post in the largest room of the house where they played a part in protecting the generations of residents residing there. 